Good evening. You like super salad. There are people who like salad and there are people who like soup. But which one do you prefer? Soup or salad? Now tell me, which one uh, do you actually prefer to which one? I love soup. I prefer soup to salad. Now, why do I prefer soup to salad? Is very, very simple. And you know how simple it is. Because soup is a recipe in which you put in all sorts of uh, stops and all these items in a soup changes the complexion, the shape, the scent, the aroma of the other items. And in salad, you can also put in all sorts of uh, items, all sorts of stabs, all sorts of uh, foods. But what happens in a, in a uh, uh, salad is that one item does not change the color, the shape and the ingredient of the other. So what happens uh, in uh, a soup is something never happens in salad. And what happens in salad, we cannot expect that to be happening in soup. But then why am I saying all these things? You might be wondering, why are you saying all these things? And I would be wondering, why not? Because soup is like culture studies. Soup is like culture studies. Because every time you talk about soup, you are talking about putting in a different item uh, uh, in an uh, uh, airy admixture of other items. So in cultural studies, uh, what you do, you uh, talk about sociology, you talk about history, you talk about philosophy, you talk about uh, uh, biology, you talk about literature, you talk about different sorts of literature, anthropology, uh, gynecology, everything. But the something very interesting happens when a professor of English talks about uh, 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 sociology and then he allows for sociology to intervene English. So, English professor would only talk about English, political science professor would only talk about political science, philosophy professor would only talk about philosophy, geography professor would only talk about geography. You cannot have cultural studies because what they are doing, they are talking about their own disciplines in their own inflexible way. So that in essence becomes a salad rather than a soup. That in essence becomes a salad rather than a soup. And what is a soup? Soup, I repeat myself, soup is an item where all the ingredients mix and match with each other in such a way that they create a conjuncture. That is to say they end up changing each other and vice versa. So when a professor of English uh, talks about sociology in a way that sociology professor would not talk about sociology or say an, uh, a professor of geography would talk about uh, chemistry in a way that a professor of chemistry would never talk about chemistry then that becomes a soup so culture studies is a soup and never a salad but unfortunately what is happening in, in the name of cultural studies these days is a salad. Is a salad because here uh, uh, professors of English, philosophy, political science, geography, they all gather and professor of English only talks about English literature, professor of geography only talks about geography, professor of philosophy only talks about philosophy because he is an expert and he knows 
only geography and he is not going to let anyone talk about geography neither does the other one let anyone talk about his discipline so that is a salad where all the items because why is that a salad because all the items are put together and they will remain and retain their individual identities and no one will influence each other so salad is an example of cultural studies gone wrong and soup is a brilliant example of cultural studies indeed but what has got me to talk about uh, soup salad and cultural studies in this youtube video i am talking about this because since i uploaded a uh, 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 couple of uh, youtube videos uh, on a movie called lakshmi which uh, released in an uh, over the top platform um, called hit disney hotstar i have been receiving uh, uh, some of the messages not some of the messages but uh, millions and millions of them uh, and what are these messages about these messages are about uh, an inquiry and what is that inquiry that inquiry is associated with a question and what is that question that question is that you are a teacher you teach and how can a teacher talk about a popular bollywood film like lakshmi a teacher is not supposed to talk about these things a teacher leaves in cloud and he delivers his lectures from cloud 9 like oracle and all the people in this world and and i'm telling you something that these teachers these teachers they share uh, the relationship with their students exactly a, the way the british colonizers used to share their relationship with the indians in the victorian times therefore the relationship uh, between a teacher and student is unfortunately a colonial relationship the professors are the colonial masters and students are the slaves and servants waiting to say yes sir yes madam yes sir yes madam sir is always correct madam is always correct my sir is never wrong my madam can never be wrong because they are gods because they are colonial prabhus they are colonial masters and mistresses so the relationship between a teacher and a student in colleges and universities is unfortunately a colonial imperial relationship which only becomes a kind of a transplant or a substitution of the british relationship with indians or any colonizers relationship with a colonized subject now therefore they still believe that the teacher is supposed to maintain his dignity supposed to maintain his pride supposed to maintain his ego supposed to maintain his colonial brahminical patriarchal imperial status quo and that's why even if he mixes up with students he would mix up with students like guess what a salad not like a soup i will mix with my students but i will retain my feature uh, i am a teacher i am a professor so i will maintain myself and you are a student no you are not a student you are a colonized subject because professor and students are not professors and students professor and students are like colonial masters and colonized other so when we teach in a college or in university for that matter we are not teaching we are creating servitude we are enslaving them and we are actually creating a parallel system of the victorian colonial model when our students would only will be taught to say 
yes, yes and yes and therefore this has led to the salad structure of the academia. What is that salad structure? As I have already explained that no matter how many stops you put in a salad and how much you mix them or rinse them, they will retain their identities. So these professors are part of that salad bowl and since they are part of that salad bowl, so they are never happy when another colleague, another teacher, another professor talks about popular films in open platform with students with frankness, friendliness and love because that might convert the salad bowl into a soup bowl and they are absolutely phobic those great professors are absolutely phobic about these salad bowls and soup bowls and they make sure that they remain a part of the salad bowls and never become a soup bowls. In case someone becomes a soup bowl, the other that part of their academia or their fraternity. Because no, 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 you are not a part of our society, you are not a part of our high culture, high serious Matthew Arnoldian culture. Why? Because you are a threat to us slash salad bowl. Why? Because you are a soup bowl. And what is a soup bowl? Soup bowl is a bowl in which everything gets mixed up in such a way, like cultural studies, that that somehow, I mean, everything uh, ends up influencing, converting, and 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 transforming the other. So something that the salad bowl would never allow you to achieve, because a teacher is a teacher is a teacher. And he is on a pedestal, he is a Plato, he is Aristotle, he is a Renaissance humanist. And a student is a student, a student, a student. He will sit there next to my feet, waiting for his lecture, oops, sorry, waiting for his uh, sort of, uh, uh, sort of, waiting for his sort of uh, oracle. And what makes them so phobic is the fact that their elitism, their high seriousness doesn't end up becoming a soap bubble. So they are extremely phobic when a salad bowl comes along and they are very happy with that salad bowl but whenever a soup bowl comes along and talks about Lakshmi in YouTube channel, then that makes them phobic, that makes them scared, that makes them unhappy. So all the students, you are the students, and we all the teachers, we are the teachers, and students and teachers never can mix up. Even if they mix up, they can only mix up like a salad bowl, student and teacher, are not allowed to mix up like a soup bowl, something that Stuart Hall had strongly disputed. And Stuart Hall had celebrated big time soup bowl. Stuart Hall preferred soup bowl to salad bowl. And when Stuart Hall preferred soup bowl to salad bowl, it becomes cultural studies. Thank you. Thank you so much. And never allow the phobia of the salad bowls to get the better of you. I am a soup bowl and we are all in a soup. Even if there are salads being put into the soup bowl, we'll mix and match in such a way that it becomes a conjuncture and 
we become a bright lawyer rather than an engineer. Something that we will talk about in my next video. For that, you have to wait for my next upload. For the time being, that's all I have to offer. Think about this. I will catch up with all of you very, very, very soon. Thank you.